Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're gonna turn our paper in uh, using our phone. It's super duper easy. Okay, so this is a case where let's say that we've gotten you know a PDF online of like a worksheet and we have now completed our math on a paper or we've done some kind of work on a paper. And now we just wanna turn that in electronically using our phone. It's super easy. It's probably the easiest way to do it. Um, so let's take a look. All right, so I have my handy uh, emulator here. So this is gonna work like a, just an Android phone. Canvas app is also available on your iPhone. Um, so once it's installed, you're going to double, you know, you're gonna open it and then click find my school. Okay, now this is where we have to be careful, okay? Because it's possible that you're, you know, you already should have an account, okay? So I already showed you a video on how to make an account. If it's a district account, you know, if it's your usual password for all your district stuff, um, it's usually gonna be the same thing as you would log in your district Google or district whatever it is. Then you're gonna type in your district, right? So let's take San Diego Unified as an example. Okay, so that's San Diego Unified District. Now this, now see this URL up here? This has to match. So look what we have. We have canvas.instructure.com and we have San Diego Unified.instructure.com. Okay, those are not the same installations of Canvas, all right? So Canvas is a web application. It's, it has many, many different installations. Okay, there are many different Canvases. You know, community colleges have Canvases. Universities have Canvas, like University of California, San Diego has a Canvas. Uh, San Diego Community College District has a Canvas. Um, you know, I'm sure many, many other colleges and high schools have Canvases, okay? So, so you have to make sure you're in the right one, okay? So for in our case, we need to go back, and this one is the one that's for teachers, that teachers can get a free uh, Canvas on. So basically what we have to do is we have to search, we just type in the URL for this, okay? So, so we're gonna go ahead and just type in, just as we see up here in our browser, canvas.instructure.com. And remember, we're not creating a, a, an account, uh, we're just logging in using the account we made in our browser right now. Okay, so there we go, canvas.instructure.com. Hit enter. Okay, it's loading here. And there's our regular um, regular login. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill out my password and stuff. I've made this video twice now because I typed in my password and it turns out you can see it as I type it in. So, so I'm gonna have to do, you know, do this without showing you the password here, just a second. Okay, so I've got my password in, now I click log in. And let's see what happens here. Okay, so now I've logged into Canvas and notice that, uh, that once I log in, it's gonna look amazingly similar. So basically if I log in to my, this is my, you know, this is my class here. If I log in on my browser and this right here is the screen of the phone, it's very, very, it's very much the same, right? So, so I'm gonna go ahead and click into my class just by clicking once. Okay, so this might be the home page. We're gonna click into modules regardless. And then we're gonna go in and find the assignment. So in this case, turn in your paper as a photo using your phone, that's our assignment. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. Okay, and now notice that we see, uh, you know, we see the assignment here, right? All the text, just as we would, like if we go in our browser. Oops. If we go in our browser, we see the same exact assignment, right? Okay, so now we're ready to submit the assignment. So let's go ahead and click Submit. And we're going to choose File Upload. And then we're going to choose, um, we're basically gonna choose a file. So in our case, we're, you know, we're just turning in a photo of our, of our work. So we're gonna go ahead and choose Camera. And my camera's gonna be a little bit wonky because it's a, uh, it's a, um, let's see, how am I doing this here? There we go. And Okay, so there's my math work. Okay, I take a photo. Your photo from your phone is going to be way 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 better. Okay? And um and then I can take multiple photos, right? So this is the submission. So let's say I had two pages, right? Let's say I want to do two, two pages of work. I would just keep adding photos as I needed the two. Oops, so let's say that's another one. 
your photos are going to be way better. Don't hold them up like this. So when you're taking your photos, just lay them down on a on a you know tabletop or a desk or something like that. Okay. So once you get all your photos of the papers that you're going to submit, just go ahead and click submit. Okay. And so notice it's going to upload a couple of uh, a couple of you know the two pictures that you just took. And then you should see at the top, what you're looking for is successfully submitted. Okay, now if I go back in my browser, notice that I've you know, done that work in my phone, but now if I go ahead and reload the page, by clicking the reload icon at the top, I can now see that it's been submitted. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Um, it should be really, really super easy. I think turning things in on the phone is definitely the easiest way to go. So, uh, but you be the judge. All right, best of luck.